students, these eight sentences are very important for your writing. They are important because they tell your reader what exactly you're going to be writing about in terms of reasons, differences, downsides, drawbacks, advantages, benefits. So they help your reader know what exactly you're going to say. We use these sentences when we're speaking as well as when we're writing. And surely you will be reading a lot of sentences like this. So it's very important that you learn how to use these sentences correctly. Here we go. Number one is reason. One reason that I love children is that they have open hearts. Another reason that I love children is their imagination. One reason that I love children, that plus a sentence, is that plus a sentence. One reason that I love children is that plus a sentence. So you have to remember the pattern, how to make this sentence. One reason that sentence, I love children, is that sentence, they have open hearts. So there's four parts to that. Another reason that I love children is their imagination. If you just put is, you're going to have a noun or an ing verb. Is that plus a sentence, is plus a noun or ing verb. One reason for marriage is having someone to talk to. If I have a noun, I'm going to put for. One reason for marriage, one reason for the hot weather, one reason for school, one reason for divorce. So one reason for plus a noun, then after is, I put a gerund, an ing verb actually. Then I can have another uh, way to do this. One reason plus an infinitive is infinitive. One reason to get married is to have someone to talk to. The other sentences use this pattern. One advantage of staying home is that I have time to clean the house. Is that sentence. Another advantage is ing verb, is saving money. Now when you use the word advantage, you have to put advantage of. Sometimes when you use the word reason, you say reason for. Reason for, noun, advantage of, gerund. Okay, number three, drawback. So if I have an advantage, it means a good thing. A drawback means a bad thing. One drawback of staying home is that people feel lonely. So do you understand, is that sentence? One drawback of, one advantage of. One drawback of staying home is that people feel lonely. Another drawback of staying home is boredom. So after is, you can either put an ing verb or a noun. In this case, I have a noun. Boredom is a noun. Then I have for number four, another word that means the same thing as advantage. One advantage, one benefit. They are the same. One benefit of, one drawback of, one advantage of. One benefit of staying home is that I have time to clean the house. Is that plus a sentence. Another benefit is ing verb, saving money. Now for five and six, we don't say of, we're going to say between. Uh-oh, got to move this down. One difference between two things, my dog and my cat, is that my dog barks while my cat meow, meow, meows. Another difference is that my dog is younger than my cat. 
So one difference is that, another difference is that, after is that, I have a sentence. Now I have the word similarity. Similarity means the same or almost the same. One similarity between my husband and me is our political views. Political views, our political views is a noun. One similarity between my husband and me. I have to say me because it comes after a preposition. One similarity between my husband and me is our political views. Another similarity is that, plus a sentence, we love animals. We have five and a half cats and one dog. Now we have problem. Problem we use with. One problem with having a car is that cars cost a lot of money. Another problem is car accidents or is having a car accident. Problem with, similarity between, difference between. And our final word is solution. Problem, I'm hungry. Solution, I eat. Problem, I'm tired. Solution, I take a nap. One solution to, we have to say to, one solution to homelessness is providing people with low cost housing. Another solution is paying people more. Another solution to homelessness is to build more low income housing. So here we can see another solution is paying people more. Another solution is to pay people more. You can put an ing verb or an infinitive. I know that there are a lot of details to these sentences. We will also practice them next week and you will practice using the prepositions with the sentences in the next exercise. Please take some time to learn how to make these sentences because knowing how to use them will really increase your English ability. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.